Hi, it's Miss M, and I have a fun activity that involves both art and math. You will need a pencil, a sharpie, a ruler, and some markers. The first thing you will do is draw two big dots on either side of your page. Now draw ten smaller dots anywhere on the page. Now grab your ruler. You are going to draw a straight line from one of the big dots to a small dot. From that small dot, draw another line to the big dot. You are going to repeat this action for all of your small dots. You can see that I made a little mistake here, and I had to go back and correct it. But that's okay. Making mistakes is part of learning, and you never stop making mistakes, even when you're an adult. Sometimes when we make a mistake, we might feel frustrated or embarrassed, but it's okay. Mistakes are learning opportunities so that we can grow and get better. Can you recognize any shapes on the page as we connect our dots? One familiar shape might be a triangle. Can you find any other shapes? What kind of angles do you think we might find in our drawing? Obtuse? Acute? Great job! We have all our lines. Now we are going to take a sharpie or a black marker and trace all of those pencil lines. Now you'll notice my lines aren't perfect, and that's okay too. It's all about doing your best job, putting in your best effort. And sometimes we don't feel 100%, that's okay, just give it everything you have in that moment. Now that we are finished that step, we are just going to take our eraser and make sure there are no pencil markings left on the page. The final step is to color in all of our shapes. So I'm going to start with red, and I'm just going to fill up the entire shape. Now I'm going to be using all the colors of the rainbow, but you can use four colors, five colors, whatever you want. Now the trick is that I cannot color two shapes beside each other with the same marker. So I can't have two yellow shapes beside each other or two red. So I have to be careful and think about what color will each shape be before I put my marker to the paper. As I color in my shapes, I wonder how many shapes in total are there? If I had added more dots at the beginning, would I have more shapes? If I had less dots, would I have less shapes? 
I wonder if I could count all the shapes on my page. One tip for coloring is to move your marker in the same direction every time. You can see that I start at the bottom and then move my marker up. I don't go back and forth. I want these smooth lines. So I go up and up and up. Now how colorful is that? Notice that some of my shapes that are the same color meet at the same point, but they do not touch. And voila, you finished your math art. Good job.